Welcome back to my Muscle Anatomy series. My name is Brad Park, and today we're going to be exploring more of the rhomboid. Now, the cool thing about this muscle is that it does actually represent the same shape that we tend to see in geometry. So rhomboid muscle looks like the rhomboid shape, right? Now, what we'll find with this muscle is that it connects from the medial aspect of the scapula, and it's going to have a connection from about T5 up to T2 of the spinous processes. Now, rhomboid minor, its brother sits directly above it. Literally, right above this aspect of the spine, you'll find rhomboid minor, and it'll connect from C7 to about T1. It also has a very minor attachment to the inferior aspect of the nuchal ligament, which also has a basis up the occiput. This muscle is really easy. Now, the rhomboids are gonna end up being a gigantic mover of what we call the sternoclavicular or the SC axis. The sternoclavicular axis is the joint on the other side of the body where the sternum and the clavicle attach that actually has this parallel line that runs straight through the ribcage and connects right to the back of this same clavicle. Now, what because of the rhomboid, because of where it sits, because of how it moves, it's gonna end up being a direct antagonist to the serratus anterior muscle. Remember, the serratus anterior protracts, which means this guy's gonna slide forward, and it also does upward rotation, which means this guy's going to upwardly rotate slightly when the serratus anterior is dominant. However, the rhomboid, does the reverse, right? So the rhomboid is going to pull into retraction, which means it's gonna pull the scapula or the shoulder closer to the spine, and it also is really, really good at downward rotation, which means this guy's going to swing in a little bit as it does so. What that means is, ultimately, the rhomboid ends up being really good at giving you stuff like superhero posture, that upright position that we all know and love. So the problems really start when we start to lose this muscle. If you're to lose both rhomboid and trapezius together, that's gigantic because both of these are a really big piece in what kind of keeps your spine in extension. So what we'd start to see is potentially some protraction when the shoulder starts to fall forward, or maybe we even start to see some spinal, some thoracic flexion when you start to cave in because of all the tension from pack and all the stuff on the front of your body pulling you forward and not having enough ability in the back to straighten up fully. So this guy's gonna be huge, especially when it comes to things like exercise, when it comes to posture, when it comes to uh, any pulling movement, these guys are gonna be a huge deal in moderating that entire process. So some final considerations about the rhomboid is that unfortunately it's kind of screwed in just about any exercise you use it in. Unfortunately in both multi-joint and in single joint exercises, this muscle loses ability the more it shortens. What that means is, is in virtually any situation where you have an increased momentum to the joint of the humerus or you've got a actively retracting shoulder, this thing is getting weaker and weaker and weaker the more it moves into the shortest position that it has available, which means you're also gonna need to create a force that tapers off as you lose ability. If you wanna do a pull well, if you wanna do a, a retraction well, and you wanna be able to feel your rhomboid firing the entire time, then unfortunately your force is gonna to need to match this muscle's ability as it moves through space. So you're gonna need some really specific stuff that gets weaker as your muscle does, so that you can best match your muscle to the forces it's capable of withstanding. Thank you guys for joining me again on another piece of my anatomy series. Uh, please like, please subscribe, uh, please leave comments, please leave questions. I want to hear from you and what do you think we can do to make this channel a little bit better. Alright, thanks again and have a great day.